nächster Halt, Station Schloss. Für den Schlossbesuch bitte aussteigen. Next stop, Castle Station. Please leave here to visit the castle. Nächster Halt, please mind the gap when leaving the vehicle. So that ride cost us nine euros each, and we think we can enter the castle with these tickets. So let's go find out. These castle ruins sit right up on a hill overlooking the entire city. So apart from actually seeing the castle and what's inside, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this view looks like. So as you can see, this castle is partially in ruin. This part of Germany was actually disputed in the 17th century by the French. So we have the French to thank for this castle being in ruin, but it is so beautiful. It almost looks like like Roman ruins in, in Rome or something. This really is pretty amazing. We've seen a bunch of castles on this trip, but this might be towards the top. I think Pelish Castle in Romania is hard to beat, but this is up there. The detail of this castle really makes it truly remarkable. I love how there's layers and layers of bricks that are exposed. You can see how sturdy these walls were once. And now there's moss and greenery growing out of the exposed bricks. Okay, I definitely think this one does take the cake as best castle because there's an actual functioning moat. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. We thought the outside in ruin looked cool. Look at this masterpiece. So we don't know too much about this castle and we haven't gotten inside yet. It's hard to pull yourself away from that exterior of this building. It's so detailed and distinctive. We're just trying to take it all in before we head inside. I think we both know what this barrel was used for. Isn't it obvious? Big party? <laughs> there it is. The money shot. This tour was really enjoyable. There's no structured castle tour, quote unquote. There's just signage to see different parts of the tour. So you can kind of, you know, go on your own. Usually with these castle tours, you feel like it's usually 20 or 30 euros you're gonna drop. Nine euros, which includes the ride up. So we're wandering around yet another beautiful Altstadt or Old Town where all of the buildings just have these colors that just pop, cobblestone streets, people sitting outside. It is truly amazing here. It's like, <laughs> really glorious to see everyone out enjoying the sun, having a drink, a coffee, in just this beautiful setting. I can't believe people live here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> there are definitely a lot of tourists here though, I have to say that. And it's a Tuesday. I think this may be kind of like a tourist hotspot, but I can see why. It's so, so gorgeous. 1799, this bridge was built and this cool gate as you enter it. Looking over this bridge, we saw all of these people taking pictures and looking the other way. And when you look over there, that's where we just were, the castle. There's a perfect view of how this castle just looks over everything. And this is kind of the central part of the old town. So in the short time we've been here, we've learned a little bit about Heidelberg and the history of the city. There actually have been fossils found from humans that must have been here hundreds of thousands of years ago. They found like a very distinct jawbone. They call it Heidelberg Man. But in much more recent history, this was a Nazi stronghold, but believe it or not, it did not get bombed really at all by the Allies. Most people believe that when the Allies kind of realized that victory in Europe was imminent, Americans especially wanted to have a garrison base here, and they eventually did after the war. So we've seen, unfortunately, a lot of beautiful German cities that have seen a lot throughout the war, but this part of Germany was kind of left alone for that, that period of time. That is an interesting and always an unfortunate part of history to remember, but that's probably why we see so much old still here.
So an interesting little behind the scenes look at full-time travel right here. We, for the last few Airbnbs, have not had laundry service or laundry machines in the building. That's something that we haven't run into too much on this trip. We've been pretty lucky, but man, it stacks up. <laughs> a couple of Airbnbs in a row. Uh, so we had a lot of laundry to do. Thank God we found a service, but we're gonna have to go pick that up real quick. And then we'll be right back with our Heidelberg tour. <laughs> And we're back in action. We have a lot to get done in the next few hours. Right now we're gonna go get some traditional German food right in the old town of Heidelberg. It's our last night, so our last opportunity to get German food tonight, so that is a must. Classic meal we just had at the Red Ox. The Roten Auction, definitely 10 out of 10. I don't think I've ever had cheek before, but it was very good, very tender. The atmosphere, just absolutely can't beat it. The interior, I love places like that. It's dark, every square inch of the wall is covered with some sort of old more memorabilia. It honestly feels a little bit like you're in an antique shop and you're having a meal. Yeah, or like your grandma's house or something. Or like your grandma's house, for sure. All right, so this is actually the third time we've been here on the old bridge, but I have to say this may be the best trip because the sun is hitting the castle just right. So the way the city of Heidelberg is structured, you can definitely tell that it just used to be this castle and then this old town here. And as time has gone on and more and more tourists come, millions of tourists come every single year. This is a big, big tourist hotspot here in Germany. Over to our west side, there's like shopping and all the, you know, all the signs of tourism, right? Shopping, chain restaurants. And then when you get even more towards kind of where we're staying, it gets very modern. We saw like they're starting to build like this very modern looking mall. So take it for how you will. I mean, I prefer the old, but you can definitely see how the tourism industry has impacted Heidelberg over the years. And to me, it's so interesting why this little town is such a tourist at spot. There's not a ton to see. Obviously the castle is the main event, but it's just been so lovely to hang out here, have dinner, have drinks, and just like, you know, get into the German culture. Up at the castle, I just wanted to sit up there by the lookout. If only I had like a hammock, I would stay there all day. <laughs> They're German rams. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> Dinner in a view. These sheep don't know how good they got it. I mean, look at this view. This, uh, this has to be the most luxury sheep grazing area in the world. Sheep habitat. <laughs> Well, the sun's going down, and so are we. We're gonna go back down. This is a hike. It's I mean, I, I would love to go all the way back or all the way to the top, but it's gonna get dark by that time. So we're gonna sign off. From Germany, you have been an absolute dream, and we hope to be back someday. We're heading south tomorrow. New country, new adventure, new chapter. We'll see you there.